Who would you say today in America, if you were to say the most influential person in America that follows and would like to aspire one day for America to be what Karl Marx talks about in his book, Communist, Manif uh, Communist uh, Manifesto, who would aspire to see America become that? If you were to say big name, not small name, yeah. big names. Well, that's a good question. I mean, for that sort of hardcore, you'd have to go to like Communist Party USA website is cpusa.org. You'd have to go to like the Trotskyist Socialist Workers Party, um, the, the editors at the, of People's World, which is peoplesworld.org. That's the successor to the Daily Worker. There's a guy named Bob Avakian who runs the Revolutionary Communist Party. Um, Revcom, they're known as. Bob Avakian is Avakian. Is he Armenian? Yeah, I, that's a good question. It probably is Armenian. Yeah, A-V-A-K-I-A-N. Um, if you look it up, Bob Avakian. They call him Chairman Bob. And he's got at his website, his website, Revcom, Revolutionary Communist Party USA, is all about him. So do you see it? Yeah. Yeah, that's him. He is Armenian, by the way. He's an American, uh, Armenian, American lawyer, civil rights activist, and later judge on Alameda Co County, uh, California Superior Court. Interesting. Yeah. So he, he's, he's a leader, and he is, uh, w when you saw last summer or last year, Patrick, that um, Communist Party endorses Joe Biden for president. I remember I saw, I got that email immediately because of who I am, right, in my email box. And I thought, wow, that's weird. Communist Party USA, I know that they're for Biden and for the Democrat every four years, but they you don't usually endorse them because that hurts the, the endorsement hurts. So I clicked it. It wasn't Communist Party USA. It was it was Chairman Bob. It was Bob Avakian. He's the one that endorsed Biden. For that. Is, is, he, is he a guy that debates and gets on different platforms and interviews or no? I don't think he does much. From what I can tell, he's mostly solo and, and posts. For a while, he was in exile and possibly in Paris. And I have often wondered if it was a self-imposed exile. <laughs> well, we'll definitely reach out to him because we've had Slavoj Žižek on and we've had uh, uh, Professor Richard Wolf on and a few other guys on. So I'm always curious to know to speak to them. So, okay, so I think, is it fair to say that the, the, the topic of communism is not creating a lot of momentum in US at all? It's not like it's gonna one day be a threat to US again, like it was back in the days under Reagan. Well, here's the threat. And here I think is the longer answer to your question. The people today who are sympathetic to communism are calling themselves democratic socialists. And, and so if there's a kind of leader for that today, first of all, there's Bernie Sanders, okay? And Bernie Sanders was a formal presidential elector to the Socialist Workers Party in 1980 and 1984. So 1980, when most normal Americans are deciding whether to vote, vote between Carter or Reagan, right? Bernie Sanders was supporting the Trotskyist Socialist Workers Party. We've never found proof that Bernie um, was an actual member of the Socialist Workers Party. But you look in his background, I mean, he's long been a supporter of it and probably knew better than to actually formally join it. Daniel Greenfield of frontpagemagazine.com, David Horowitz's Freedom Center, Ron Radosh, look up their writings on Bernie's time in a Stalinist kibbutz in Israel in the early 1960s. So Bernie was way to the far left. Bernie was never a Democrat until 2016 when he sought the Democratic Party's nomination. He was an independent. Um, James Carville, right, said, Bernie's not a Democrat. Why is he running as a Democrat? He's not even a Democrat. He's not. He's not a Democrat. But he came in second for the Democratic Party presidential nomination in 2016 and 2020. Bernie's a lifetime socialist. By, by the way, one more thing. The Trotskyist Socialist Workers Party, they published the publication The Militant. And The Militant, you can look up online, Lee Harvey Oswald the assassin of JFK, holding the rifle in one hand that he shot JFK with and a copy of the militant newspaper in the other hand. That's been around for a long time. The other leaders of the sort of modern socialism, the democratic socialism, as they call it, it's the democratic socialists of America. That's the group. That's it. Patrick, that is it. Communist Party USA says that they've had a membership surge 
where they're now at about 5,000 members. All right? That sucks, <laughs> right? The Democratic Socialists of America are, are in a true membership surge and are now up to about 90,000 altogether. And their poster girl is Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. And the other one, in fact, if they have poster girls, it's the squad. Um, Ilhan Omar, who I think is the most radical member of the House, and the third one is Rashida Tlaib, who, who said of Donald Trump, we need to impeach the mother, you know, blank. And the fourth one is Eliana Presley, although I don't think Presley is, um, is an actual democratic socialist, but she's part of the squad. So that's really, that's where the momentum is today. And so if you, if you, if you look up democratic socialists online, look up, look up democratic socialists of America, um, annual convention, communist international. And they're they're singing the 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 international at the start of their at the start of their convention and calling each other comrades, right? So they uh, they'll they'll say, oh, we're not communists, we're we're not even socialists, we're democratic socialists. But but when you hear the rhetoric and see what they say and you see what they read, like Richard Pipe said, you know, there's no meaningful distinction between socialism and communism. Um, oftentimes, there's indeed not. So if you like this little short clip from an interview I did, click over here to watch the entire interview. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.